Hey guys, just thought I'd give you the eight week update. <clears throat> um, so on the six week, those plants there were quite low down uh, within the last two weeks. They've really grown. The cuttings that I took, these ones here, um, have took really well. So I'm going to definitely take a load more and start spreading them around that rock. Uh, you can just about see the rock now. I've just got some coolie loaches. Got them to pop in in a minute. Um, I'll just let them relax a bit. They have buried themselves. There's four in there, but you can see one or two. They've buried themselves at the moment. We'll get them out in a minute. Uh, I've got some royal rams recently. Some cherry barbs. The neons aren't colourful at the moment. I've just put the light on about two minutes ago. And you know what they're like. It'll take about 20 minutes or so. Uh, discus has settled a bit more. Seem happy. That little plex keeping all the algae clean. Bristle nose plex. I wouldn't get a common plex. They get too big wreck your plants but in a tank like this the bristle noses are quite nice got some cherry barbs there um, a couple of phantoms a couple of black phantoms so it's looking it's looking good now the plants are coming on really well the, those trees have well the tree effect you can see all the ones that have the, all the moss now that's pointing upwards is what's grown in the last two weeks um, so they need a trim back that end I wanted nice and dark and dense Gives a discus somewhere nice and safe because these discus were from downstairs in the big tank, but they were getting bullied. So I put them in here, and since they've been in here now, and they're you know they're the only two in here, they're doing really well, and, and they they really do like it. I've also got some food to put in there today. I've just got some live food. Uh, I've got some bloodworm. I got some daphnia. And uh, for the quarries downstairs, I've just realised that's the wrong tank. I've got some Tubiflex for the quarries. So what we'll do is we'll let these go. Let the coolie loach go, but I know what's going to happen. They are literally going to bury themselves for weeks, which is what they do. I will see them, but it will be a few weeks. They're going mad now, look. <laughs> yeah, probably won't see them for a while. Let's just grab all of that. I don't like, I'm not one to just tip the fish in, I like them to do that and come out on their own. There's one in, I don't want that gravel to go in though, that's the only problem. There's two out. Three. Last one, you coming? Just lift the water a bit. There, he'll go in any second, he's just sitting on the end there. I know he's going back in, look. Come on fella. Going back up the bag. I don't want that gravel. I really didn't want that gravel going in. I'll tell you what I do. I'll grab the gravel out of the way. Actually, he's just come right to the front where the gravel's not. Let's get some water back in the bag. Typical. Right, come on. Get into the front if I can. Ooh. Let the water out too quick, then he's got stuck. There he goes. That's the four coolie loaching. And so they I know full well they're gonna bury themselves and I won't see them for quite a while. But I say the rest of the tank's doing really well. Really pleased with it actually. Water's staying nice and clean, it's not an algae issue. In fact, there's no issues at all. No issues with it, so let's get this Daphne in. This is, um, or water fleas, whatever. They'll, they'll like this, but the good stuff with this is it's in fresh water. So even if they don't eat them, which they will start darting around eating them any second, but even if they don't, they'll stay in the tank and be fine. They'll just swim around because it's just fresh water. So I know you can't see the Daphne, but they are darting around eating them, especially the Neons. So that's nice. Same with the Bloodworm. We'll just tip them in. And they'll just swim around, get picked off. God, they stink. Oh. Oh. Right, let's get the Bloodworm tipped in. I know it looks a lot, it's not really, it's not really a lot at all, but yeah. 
blood worm are just sitting on there. And the fish will just go and pick them off when they want them. You, the good thing with live food is you can't really overfeed because they'll just live in there, not really pollute the water. They just live in there until they get eaten, which at the moment isn't going to be long at all the way them rams are going at it. That's cool. And there's still Daphne going around in there, I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, just thought I'd do a real quick update, just a quick sort of five, ten minute video. Um, I know there's a coolie loach, coolie loach come out under there. That's pretty cool. He's, he's feeding off the bottom. There we go, look. That's cool. I thought, I thought I wouldn't see them for weeks. And there's one out already. The other three are buried. I don't know where they are. They're going for the blood one. <laughs> See the discus comes along. But yeah, little coolie loads down there. It's kind of cool. The plants on top are growing well as well. Um, you have to excuse the mess in here. I've been making lots of model stuff lately. So I've got loads of stuff everywhere. But yeah, that's quite fun to watch. Let's all get picked off. But yeah, nice live ones. I just can't believe how well those plants have grown. They've done really well. There we go. Another time, not not this video, but another video. I'll um, I'll put the camera in the water because it's in its, it's in its own case, so it'll be fine. So I'll pop it inside you can, and leave it in there. You can watch the fish from inside if you're interested. I do like how this tank's coming on now. I really do. <laughs> Some neons over there just ripping into the flood worms. They're having fun. That's cool. But yeah, if anyone's got any tanks or you've got any videos yourself when you're watching this, drop us a little a little comment and I'll and to, to go and have a look at your channel and I'll, I'll go and have a look and we'll I like to see what other people have got on their setups and things. So just drop a comment in there and we'll, we'll say hello. And thanks for watching the video. I'll just leave it as that. I'll leave it there for another minute or two. Not even that. And then we'll turn it off. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.